success one fripicism at a time. Why did you do it that way? Lessons from Everyday Heroes My brother, the legendary guitarist Robert Fripp, played on David Bowie's Heroes. In our presentations, Robert says, there are three kinds of heroes. The occasional hero, the everyday hero, and the superhero. The occasional hero may perform a heroic act. However, it is not repeatable. The superhero knows what happens in every office, in every location, at all times. Not every company is fortunate enough to have a superhero. On a daily basis, the ordinary, everyday hero performs what is expected of them, plus 10%, without complaint. Every company has employees or associates. By the FRIP definition, not every company is lucky enough to have an abundance of ordinary, everyday heroes. Here is an example of one. Perhaps you have noticed most everyday heroes you've never heard of may teach us more than their managers. Why? Because these ordinary everyday heroes are hands-on and often instinctively or through trial and error solve problems to get the jobs done. The best managers and leaders who are smart have developed the ability to discover extraordinary employees right under their noses. This is a blast from my past. Early in my speaking career, during a break in my seminar, I had a conversation with three of my attendees. This is the best way for speakers to develop their repertoire of stories and examples. Joyce Ward was with Shaw Intermediate Maintenance Activities, a naval organization that fixed ships. She said, as a business performance officer, I go out and work with the shops, focusing on teamwork. In 1994, I was working with my first team, our lifeboat repair shop. These rafts hang on the decks of ships and need to be inflated in an emergency. However, the failure rate in 1994 was 40%. After we asked some questions, we dropped the failure rate to 1% or less by the year 2000. How did we do it? We looked at the processes and made a flowchart. We kept track of who was working on what, so we could spot where the errors were occurring. When we did this, we discovered one extraordinary employee whose work was always perfect. There was no failure rate for Joey. We decided to observe Joey carefully to figure out what he was doing right. We watched and watched, but couldn't see that he was doing anything different from all the other workers. Then we decided to videotape him and asked him to describe what he was doing as he did each step. We encourage the other members of the team to observe, reminding them that they or their family might be the ones needing a lifeboat in an emergency. She said the entire team was there watching. At one point, Joey said, and now I fold the valve under. Wait, another team member said but we fold it towards the top. Why are you folding it underneath? Because, Joey said, it lies flatter and there is less chance that it would be broken when the life raft is compressed into the little package. Joey was a young man very low on the totem pole. 
What he taught us was that you have to listen to the kids down on the deck. They often are the ones who innovate and solve what in this case was a major problem. We asked the teams to define problems and describe what they'd done to solve them. After we collect their answers, we brief the executive officers who can make it happen. Then they make recommendations to leadership who can bring about a permanent change. Joey's idea became the department standard for the entire Navy. He also received a very nice cash reward. And thanks to Joey and our asking the right questions, your chances of having a working lifeboat have risen by, well, let's say until at least 99% or more. Remember, discover lessons from everyday heroes. Then you will both be heroes for more than one day. Remember, success, one fripicism at a time.